What's up everyone? Today we're talking about ASXC, formerly known as TRXC, and today I'm going to talk about how I played this, where I think it's going to be at, and what happened today. So let's get into it. So a famous investor once said that the stock market is used to take wealth from those people that are impatient and give it to those that are patient. Who is that? If you guys know, please tell me in the comments now. And since his surgical shares rose sharply in pre-market trading Wednesday morning after the company said its Seahance robotic surgical system has been cleared by the Food and Drug Administration for use in general surgery. Um, the system uses haptic feedback, eye tracking camera control, and 3D visualization to provide a digital interface between the surgeons and their patients. And most of us know that FDA approval is awesome because it always pushes up the price of a stock. Now, the stock got to the top, it pulled back a little bit, but let's look at the chart and then I want to tell you guys how I'm playing this and what other stocks I was involved in today trading. So this is the chart. And if you guys do not know what this is, these shaded areas right here are after hours. So pre-market and post-market. If you guys are not trading after hours, these are really important times. You can do it on Webull. I'll leave my link in the description and we both get free stocks if you deposit 100 or more. So as we look, when news came in, this started shooting up along with the RSI, of course. And the RSI so shows that everybody started buying in and then it started to become oversold. And then once it started to becoming oversold, short-term investors and traders were short-term traders and scalpers. So people that do day trades or people that scalp started selling off right before market opened. As we can see, that correlates with the RSI started selling off. And then they continue to sell off at the beginning of market open right here. Then people that were able to trade during regular market hours started buying in and it brought it back up a little bit. And then throughout the day, it continued to start to drop. So... If you guys were able to buy in right here, I bought in yesterday or buy right in. These were would have been the perfect times to buy. And then, of course, we would want to sell in pre-market right here. Would have been an awesome choice. I actually sold some around here. And then it continued to level out. And then right now, we're in after hours trading right now. So, if the stock happens to go under $4, that's amazing. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself some more shares. And I'm going to use this opportunity to buy more shares and to stock up at a discounted price. If this thing happens to go above $5, that's also awesome because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell some more of the shares that I already have. And if this gets closer to six or seven, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sell my call option, which expires on the 19th. So either way, whatever happens, this is good for me because I'm gonna either buy or I'm gonna sell, right? Buy low and sell high. But I think for the day that Everybody that was selling off short term is done selling off. And once some institutional investments get involved in this and institutions start buying this, it's going to build up and it's going to push the price up more. So in the short term, I expect it to stay above four. Like I said, if it goes below four, specifically 417, because that's what my position is right now. If it goes underneath 417, I'm going to buy some more. That might be a great opportunity for you to buy, depending on where your position is and for you to get in. If you bought high, then definitely what I would do is I would make sure I'm buying these at a lower price. That way, once it goes up, I make more money because I have more shares and because I average down. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll hit you guys up next video and I appreciate everybody's time today.